Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 11 of MSK Unknown Case Series. This is the case for this week. This is a fantastic case. So this is a frontal view of the right foot in a 23-year-old individual. And the question for this case is, the entity shown can be associated with what other abnormality? Is it malignancy, lipomatosis of a nerve, adventitial bursa formation, or midfoot instability? And I'll give you a moment to ponder upon the radiograph here. So what we have here is we have a frontal view of the right foot and notice how disproportionately enlarged the great toe is when compared to the second, third, fourth, and fifth digits. Not only is there marked soft tissue enlargement of the great toe, the bone itself is actually enlarged. The entire first ray, if you take a look even from, you know, the level of the you know, navicular, the cuneiforms, the first metatarsal uh, and the proximal phalanx here. You know, all of this is markedly enlarged and irregular. <clears throat> this is a nice case of what macrodystrophia lipomatosa would look like. So the association seen in up to two thirds of patients with macrodystrophia lipomatosa is actually lipomatosis of a nerve. Uh, so I want to go over this case a little bit. So this is really a form of focal gigantism where you get uh, hypertrophy of you know, bone and fatty soft tissue. And what is the bone made up of predominantly? It's made up of fat, right? So you have you know, enlargement of the fatty component of the bone and enlargement of the subcutaneous fat or the fatty soft tissues. And it typically involves you know, the hand or the foot. Uh, typically this is present at birth or you know, it, it continues to you know, become more pronounced as a patient is going through puberty. Um, it typically stops after the patient is, has stopped growing, but you typically, it typically involves the hands or the feet. Usually the second and third digit are involved, but in this case, the first digit is involved and usually has, you know, it, it's associated with, you know, the, you know, the median nerve distribution in the hand or the plantar nerve distribution in the foot. Uh, but that's not always the case as we see in this case where only the great toe is involved here. And, you know, this can cause bowing deformities in, in people. It usually presents as, you know, abnormal growth of certain digits. And the one key complication that can occur that can be devastating is early osteoarthritis. And if you take a look at this 23 year old has, you know, moderate to severe osteoarthritis already here at the first MTP joint. Look at the degree of, you know, osteophytosis, subchondrosclerosis, cystic change. Even you see, you know, degenerations along the entire midfoot of the TMT joint, navicular cuneiform joint, talonavicular joint. You know, there's extensive osteoarthritis, and no 23 year old should have this degree of osteoarthritis, you know, unless they don't have some sort of underlying abnormality. So, this is a nice case of what macrodystrophia lipomatosa can look like. And it really is just a, a, a form of focal gigantism. You can have bowing deformities associated with this. Uh, and usually, this is, you know, there's no real known cause, it's not hereditary. Uh, it's probably likely multifactorial, but this is usually present, at, you know, it's at birth or it, you know, continues to grow as a patient goes and grows through puberty. Typically, what they can do is they can surgically debulk the excess redundant fatty tissue as a treatment for this entity. So although this is a zebra, this is, you know, a well-known entity, you know, definitely fair game for the radiology core exam. So I want to show you a, a really nice case of what macrodystrophia lipomatosa can look like. Thank you so much. I hope you like this case and we'll do another super high yield case next week. Uh, please share this and I'll see you guys next week.